purpose of this video is to show you how to log into our new uh, Office 365, our email, calendar, and contact uh, system at Salisbury Christian School. Uh, wherever you are in the world, if you're at home or um, away on a trip or somewhere, uh, you can simply log into Google and then type in Office 365 login and hit enter. It should be one of the very first ones. It might be in, in the top three or four or five here, but uh, you want to log into the one that says HTTPS login.microsoftonline.com. There are other lookalikes and do not use those. Simply use the one that's HTTPS login.microsoftonline.com. So I'm going to click sign in. You won't have to do that when you're at school because uh, you'll have a tab on on your uh, internet browser that says sign in. Uh, so you click simply click simply open up your internet browser, you click sign in, and you'll get this page here. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Your username is simply your email address, your normal email address. So mine is jfox at, at salisburychristian.org and I'll text alert you uh, the password. I don't want to say it here on this uh, public video. We don't want people hacking into our email, email all around the world. Uh, so I'll text alert you the uh, your new password and then click sign in. What you'll see when you first uh, log in or sign in <laughs> after you hear the music maybe uh, you'll see a, a large blue screen here and it will have some different things about uh, Office 365 uh, you can look at it look through it if you want to after you log in a few times it will go away but at the top of your screen here it will say Outlook Calendar and People so that's your email your calendar and your contacts I have a few other options because we're testing some other uh, possibilities with Office 365 but you'll see Outlook calendar and people. Um, so you simply click on Outlook and this is the type of screen that you'll get. Over on the left hand side will be all of your folders uh, that we copied over from the uh, from the old system. Uh, if, if you want to hide those you'll see a little arrow here, two arrows, and it'll simply hide or unhide your folders. Uh, the section in the middle will be your uh, you know your emails and then what the actual the one that you're on like uh, this one here, as soon as you click on it, you'll see the email over on the right side. And you can adjust these by going in between, click and drag to, you know, to, to move them around a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to leave them just like they are. Now some other things that you'll see here uh, that you need to be aware of is the small little arrows. Uh, and it's basically hide and unhide. So this one is pointing down. I'm going to close it and it will collapse everything that's under the folder inbox. I'll click on it again and you'll see how it now it's pointing down to the right. Um, and then all of the ones that have folders within folders, uh, you'll see these small arrows. So uh, all of these emails, I mean, all of these folders here, here are under academic. I'll click that little arrow and they'll be hidden or collapsed. So if you don't see all, uh, all of your folders, uh, make sure that you uh, you know, check these little arrows out. What you'll also see on the left is uh, a button for new email. So you simply click that. You go over here, you type in uh, the email address to the person that you want to send that to. And then your subject. Simply click there, put in your subject, and then click down below, write your email. I have a signature in here. That's what they're called, signatures. You can add those later uh, if you want and then simply click send or if you change your mind you don't want to send the email simply click disregard or you can also attach a file so if I click on insert and then attachment it will open up a box and you find your file that you want to attach and it will attach a file there for you anytime you see three dots in Office 365 it means that there are more options so you cl click on that to get some more options and then as we move move over to the right, uh, again you'll see Outlook, Calendar, and People. And I'll do a, another video on the calendar. I'm going to go back to Outlook. And then a little bit farther, you'll see a little gearbox. This is where you can change some settings. And uh, you have a number of different um, uh, uh, options here. I'm going to 
for example, click Change Theme. And if right now it's on the default, I think I like this red one. And, uh, and then you go back up and click OK. And you can use whatever theme that you want. It's just a way to customize the look of your email. Also, if you want to change your password, you click that little gearbox again. And under Options, uh, you'll have two different options here, My Account or Connected Accounts. But you click on My Account. Then you look over on the right change your password you simply click that and follow the instructions to change your password you also have other things over here um, that you uh, yours might look a little bit different but uh, you'll have some other other uh, options over here as well so you can click on them on those and uh, you know look through another one here is set up an automatic re reply message so if you're out of the office or out of the classroom uh, or in the summertime you can click on that and uh, you can follow through to uh, send a reply message, automatic reply message. To get back to your calendar you simply click Outlook. A little bit of music maybe, some reminders there. Uh, so that's basically your um, your email. Now just a couple other things, you can simply uh, delete email here as you scroll over each one you'll see an X or a flag, you can flag emails for different things. Or uh, if you double click, you'll see um, like the conversation or the emails that have, have gone, uh, you know, preceded this one. So the, I sent the original email, looks like Christy responded, and then uh, Chris responded, and then all, I also sent Chris a response. Uh, so you can just, you know, click on on one of them, you'll see see them over on the right. You don't have to use that feature. Uh, because uh, when you see your email over here, you can also scroll down if it's longer. You have a scroll scroll bar, and uh, you'll see the different emails that that were a part of this uh, email here. If you have uh, a lot of um, different email in your inbox, you can also click uh, search mail and people. So I'm going to type in the word Franks and hit enter. And all of the emails that have the word Franks in them will, will come up on the um, screen here. To get rid of that search, you simply click, and here's some other options over here as well. Uh, if you know it was more than a week ago and you just want to search in the inbox or you want to search the entire, uh, those are some other features there for, uh, for your search. And I'm going to X out of here and it will simply take you back to your, uh, to your inbox. Now for this, uh, you can move uh, these uh, emails to different folders by simply click and then dragging them over to your folders. And if it's down a little bit farther, just go down a little bit and they'll start moving. Um, but I, I want to leave this one right here, so I'm going to let go so that it stays in my inbox. So that's how you do that. Also, uh, to reply to an email, here are your buttons over here for reply, reply all, or forward. So if I wanted to reply to this email, I click simply click Reply. And then I type in, it already has the address of the person who I'm sending it to. Type the email message and click Send again. Well, I'm going to discard because I don't want to do that. So those are the basic features of our new email system. Hope you have found this helpful. Have a great day.